Hey there everyone, thanks for joining me. Uh, it is a grey and gloomy and snowy day outside, so I thought I would catch up on some witchy stuff. So, first things first, Happy New Year! Uh, I wanted to share with you a couple of things that I got over the Yuletide that I think are just really nifty. First is my new moon calendar. And this one I was very excited about because it is similar to one that my grandmother uses all the time, my grandmother in Austria. So this is actually a German moon year calendar. So it's a planner that goes off of phases of the moon. And the reason that I really like this, it's different from the moon calendars and planners that I find here in the United States, in that it's very practical. It's not just moon correspondences and kind of mystical magical stuff. It's also very everyday. And I have a hard time finding that here for some reason. It's similar, I guess, to probably a farmer's alma almanac, uh, in that it talks about planting and cleaning and things like that. But let me go through this and show you why I think it's so great. So in the front cover here, there is a legend of all of the things that it talks about <clears throat> for what day is good for these things. You have things like um, building, um, making repairs and renovations on your home, planting trees, uh, pruning trees, watering plants, gardening, uh, canning, canning and jarring, uh, preserving your food, uh, window washing, Fenster puts in, it has window washing. Um, regular washing of your clothing, and specifically problem wash. So, <coughs> sorry, for some reason my throat's off today. So that means stuff that you normally have a hard time washing, things that are maybe stained or otherwise difficult to wash, these are good days to wash it. Uh, hair cutting and washing, what are the best days for that? Chopping wood, it has what days are good for chopping wood. Um, painting. And this in general means things like painting the house, uh, but what are the good days for that? <coughs> Nail care. So best days to cut and paint your nails and take care of the, the nails and the skin around it. Uh, changing plants. So re repotting plants. Uh, face stuff. So uh, what do you call that? Like facials best time to do face care, like your nail care. And it also includes body care. So in this case that has to do with maybe taking a fasting day or watching what you're eating. And these days usually happen at the uh, new new moon. The new moon as a good uh, time, or actually the, the waning moon as a good time to um, get rid of toxins in your body. So. As you can tell already from these things, it's kind of different from the moon calendars that we get here. And it has a little bit of information on each, so each page will tell you if the, if the item is in full color, that's a good day for that. If it's kind of black and white or gray, then it's an okay for that, it's not the best. And if it's just not a good day for that, it won't appear on that day. And then there's some additional information. Here is something that I really enjoy. This is an overview for the year of the moon phases. Basically it gives you the months and the dates and I believe the blue is for the waning to new moon and then the yellow is uh, yeah, yellow is new moon to the full moon and then blue is full back to new. So it kind of gives you an overview of the year and the month. And this also tells you actually what these little, you probably can't see them, these little black symbols are the zodiac symbols next to the day. So it tells you what sign the moon is in on that day. So if you want a quick at a glance reference. And then you have, here is the daily portion of it where, again, you have each of the items I mentioned. So let me take a look here. For example, 
Fridays are good for getting your nails done, taking care of your nails. So that one is included here. Also good on this day would be uh, window washing and painting. Somewhat good, but not really great, uh, watering your plants. So that's how this works. It tells you the day, what sign the moon is in. It also has little crescents here for whether it's a waxing or waning moon. And then you have space for notes on the side. Now these little colored squares also pertain to some sort of a um, numbering system of, uh, you know, I'm not really sure. <laughs> this, this part I don't really understand because it has to do with this particular author, some other book that they've written on your personality and how it relates to the moon. And so that's what these portions are for. So. Since I haven't read the book, I'm not going to use this, but other than that, this is all note space. So, as said, this is something that I have seen my grandmother use all the time whenever I go to Austria to visit. I always thought it was fun if she wanted to go get her hair cut or if she was uh, planning on doing the wash, she'd always go and take a look at her moon calendar and see if it was an okay day to do that and she would plan her appointments around that. For a devout Catholic, uh, I think that is kind of fun and kind of funny also to be so, I don't want to say superstitious, but so caring of what phase the moon is in, in all of your daily tasks. And she does use this for daily tasks, getting her hair cut, when to wash the wash, when to repot plants. On a good day, she'll tell my grandfather, okay, repot all the plants. <laughs> when to can fruit and vegetables. She does use it all the time for that. So I am very happy that I was able to get this and I'm really excited to start using it. Okay, that's one. There was one other item over the Yuletide that I managed to get from my family that I'm very excited about for use this year. And that is this box right here. Old, kind of almost falling apart. I've got to be careful not to damage the bo box because it's a nice one. Shamrock linen. Inside this box are pictures of family members. Old stuff. I think this I think these are my great-grandfather's parents. Um, a family photo from my great-grandfather's family. All sorts of things. My, my grandparents, when they married, uh, my maternal grandparents. And just so many little memories. Oh, this includes, I'm not going to take it out because it's kind of difficult to get back and forth, but a um, wedding announcement for my grandparents. Some of these photos, I know who these people are. This is the other set of twins in the family, for example. Um, my sister and I are twins, and these are my grandmother's cousins. Some of these, I know who the people are. Some of them, I don't. Some of them have writing on the back. Some of them don't. And my main purpose with these is I, I, ha I have an interest in family history in genealogy. I haven't done a whole lot with it so far, and I've had trouble finding records because my family is very new to the United States, but this is kind of a project that I would like to work on, and because these pictures are available, I thought I would start kind of archiving the pictures, taking a look at what's on the back, and if I really get brave, I need to start talking with my family in Germany and Austria um, because I have to speak with them in German, and my German is not that great. Um, but see, from the folks who are older, who may have been around for these pictures, find out who these people are, <laughs> what they did, where they were, what their life was like. These are some wonderful pictures. I just think these are just treasures. I'm trying to find... There are some great pictures of my great-grandfather in here uh, from... Florida in the 20s, looking all dapper in one of those onesie um, swimsuits, you know, that they had. But 
I'm not finding it just at this moment, so that will have to wait for another time. But overall, I just wanted to share with you that this was also a very fun find over the holidays, and I am looking forward to starting in with my family history, my family photos, and my new moon calendar. So, thank you for joining me for that. I hope it was interesting. Next up, I'm going to tell you about some of my New Year's, not my New Year's goals, but my New Year's enlightenment. I'll call it that. Okay, thanks very much, and see you soon. Bye.